Joining us right now to talk more about the Fed and the economy is Ellen Zentner, the chief U.S. economist at Morgan Stanley. And Ellen, we haven't talked to you in a couple of years, I think, about this. But I think what Steve just described might describe your viewpoint on some of these things, too, that um, inflation picture looks a little worse, but you don't think things have drastically changed for the Fed. No, I don't think so at all. I think, you know, first thing, we're all on pins and needles going into this meeting. By the way, I do brackets, and it's called the dot plot for the Fed, okay? <laughs> so I put names That's next to dots, madness. and I move them around. Yes, this feels like March Madness for economists. So we go into this meeting and forget that we got uh, great news on the labor market where this concern that you were going to have this runaway job gains, right? We had a lot of downward revisions, which kind of evened that out. And then you get into uh, the inflation data, and actually, if you dig into it for exactly what the Fed is focused on, there was a very big reversal in core services, ex-housing, uh, after January. So does it answer the question definitively that this reacceleration is temporary? No. But it certainly doesn't tell you that you're wrong yet on the reacceleration and inflation being temporary. And so I think that this is going to be a meeting that, that there's much less fanfare about at the end of the day when the dust settles. I think we trim the low dots, we trim the high dots, we bring the, the uh, committee closer together, um, but we still end up with a three-cut median. So you don't think the two cuts, I mean, even Roger Ferguson, who we spoke with yesterday, the former vice chair of the Fed, said he's now kind of penciling in two cuts for this year. Yeah, well, I think, look, it's, it's, a, it's a close call, right, when you've only got two people that need to move. Uh, and uh, uh, to move the median higher. And I think that the market to, could take signal from the fact that even just getting a better balance between two and three, even if the median stays at three, um, that will tell the markets, well, they're kind of moving in that direction of less. Um, but I don't think there's anything definitive going into this meeting. And for the Fed, you've got a lifetime to deliver three cuts. Mm -hmm. right? It feels like a whole year of data has happened, and it's only... March. So they have a long time to deliver those, and they don't need to think, oh my gosh, my forecast is completely wrong. The dots are going to depend on how those forecasts change. We think growth comes up, and we think their inflation forecasts stay the same. And so talk about supply side of the economy. This is another great story this year. We've been out in front of this immigration story because it explains, it goes far in explaining why you had such fast growth last year with decelerating inflation, you've got very strong immigration numbers this year as well, which is running a little bit ahead of last year. Sure. And the supply in the labor market is incredible. This is how you get slower wage growth, strong job gains, further deceleration in inflation. One thing you are a little concerned about, though, is that political strife and outcomes have really risen on the consumer's mind. I think you pointed out there's a survey that showed it was number two only behind inflation. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you could say, well, is that typical in election year? Yeah. yeah. Um, but not always. Uh, you know, and so when I think about, you know, what are risks to the economy this year from a domestic perspective? Um, you know, we've got an election coming up that could be another close one. Economists don't like it when half of the country is disappointed on the, uh, on the day after the election, right? You want it to be a landslide in one direction. Or the other, so the majority of the country is happy with the outcome. Uh, and I go, I go back to Bush-Gore in 2000 when it took so long to know who was going to be president. I don't want that to happen this time. It could lead to an People air pocket in the economy. They did stop spending then. 